Well, here's a case where I would just use Desmos. I know how to solve this. This is this basic system of equations. I could do some uh, substitution by just getting y or x alone. I could plug points into equations here, but I do see that they have some fractions. So honestly, it doesn't take long. Just do y minus 9x is equal to 13, and then 5x equals 2y. And just double check that you typed it in correctly. But right, what do they want? They want the solution. The solution is the point of intersection. It's right there staring in, me at, in the face. Negative two, negative five. No doubt, no chance for error, right? So yes, I believe that most people who have gotten themselves into the hard module on the digital SAT are going to have the algebra skills to solve this thing with algebra. But why? Why open your door, open the door to that possible mistake of losing a negative or flipping the X and the Y, right? I don't know where these answer choices came from, but I bet that they are the mistakes that you would make if you made mistakes, right? Like that's the key, is they're setting you up to fail. But um, if we just plug it, plug it into Desmos, as long as we enter it correctly, there's really no way we get this wrong. So why not just go with the, the, the sure thing, right? Maybe it takes a few extra seconds if you're really fast in algebra, but I don't know, it's totally worth it. Um, the other thing too is, the, occasionally when we have point of intersection questions, one of the equations will be just like y equals five. If that's the case, then yeah, don't use Desmos, just go right into it. But I wanna save my brain power. This is the hard module. I know it's gonna get crazy hard. And so the less thinking I have to do, the more thinking I can do later. It's a finite resource, your brain. So save your brain power and you'll use it later.